Ladies and gentlemen, no one saw this coming in just short time. The leaders of Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traore and Mali leader Colonel Asimi Goita has done it again. The newly graduated Burkinabe drone pilots are already performing wonders. In the skies above Burkina Faso, newly graduated drone pilots are changing the game of warfare. Armed with cutting-edge AES drones, they have taken down some of the most wanted militant leaders, Adama Umaru and Al-Iza Uld Yahia, also known as Julaibib Al-Ansari. In today's video, we'll dive into how these daring pilots use technology and strategy to bring peace to one of the most troubled regions in West Africa. To understand how we got here, let's rewind. Burkina Faso has been battling violent insurgencies for years. Militant groups, often linked to larger networks like Al-Qaeda and ISIS, have made vast areas of the Sahel region dangerous and unstable. Among the most notorious leaders were Adama Umaru and Al-Iza Uld Yahaya, names that struck fear across the region. Adama Umaru was infamous for leading brutal attacks on civilians and military posts, destabilizing communities, while Al-Iza Uld Yahia, or Julaibib Al-Ansari, was a key figure in organizing and coordinating insurgent groups across borders. Facing this growing threat, Burkina Faso needed to adapt its strategy. The introduction of drones into the battlefield was a turning point. AES drones, equipped with advanced surveillance technology and precision strike capabilities, provided the military with the edge they needed. But it wasn't just about the drones, it was the pilots behind them. Burkina Faso's newly graduated drone operators, trained in state-of-the-art tactics, were ready to put their skills to the test. These were no ordinary pilots. They were trained to track, identify, and neutralize threats from miles away. Months of intense training prepared these pilots to understand the complexities of drone warfare, from intelligence gathering to real-time combat scenarios. Their mission? To take down the leadership of the insurgent groups, with Umaru and Al-Ansari as their primary targets. The mission began with Adama Umaru. His movements had been tracked for weeks, with military intelligence pinpointing his location deep within a rebel-controlled territory. Umaru had evaded capture for years by moving through rugged terrain and hiding among local populations. But the AES drones, with their thermal imaging and night vision capabilities, had no such limitations. The newly graduated drone pilots were tasked with identifying his convoy without alerting the insurgents. The moment of truth came when the drone pilots received confirmation to engage. With precision, they launched a surgical strike. Umaru and his key commanders were neutralized within minutes, sending shockwaves through the rebel ranks. Next on the list was al iza Uld Yahia, known as Julai Bib Al-Ansari. He was not only a militant leader, but a master of guerrilla tactics, often slipping through the cracks of intelligence operations. He had ties to various extremist groups, making him a high-value target. But this time, Al-Ansari was up against a new kind of warfare. The AES drones were equipped with advanced AI that allowed them to anticipate his movements. By analyzing patterns in his previous attacks and retreats, the Burkinabe drone team had a sense of where he would strike next. After days of tracking, they found their target. Al-Ansari and his men were on the move, likely preparing for another assault. Once again, the drone pilots moved into action. This time, the mission wasn't just about elimination. It was about capturing intelligence. The drones were equipped with high-definition cameras to document the entire operation, providing evidence to be used in future military planning. Al-Iza Uld Yahia, the once untouchable militant leader, was finally neutralized. His elimination marked a major victory for the Burkinabi forces and sent a clear message to other insurgent leaders. No one is beyond reach. The successful neutralization of Umaru and Al-Ansari wasn't just a tactical win. It was a morale boost for Burkina Faso and its military forces. These drone operations represented the future of combat, precise, effective, and low risk for ground troops. For the local population, these operations brought a renewed sense of security. Towns that had been under constant threat were now able to breathe a little easier as the insurgent groups scattered to find new leadership. 
The success of these operations has placed Burkina Faso's drone program on the map. With newly graduated drone pilots proving their capability, the country is now looking to expand its drone fleet and train even more operators. But the battle is far from over. Insurgent groups may have lost their leaders, but the threat still looms large. The AES drones will continue to play a key role in keeping the region secure, and Burkina Faso's military has no intention of backing down. As we've seen today, technology is reshaping the battlefield. With skilled operators and advanced drones, Burkina Faso is turning the tide against insurgents who once seemed unstoppable. The neutralization of Adama Umaru and Julai Biba Lansari is proof that with the right tools and training, even the most elusive enemies can be brought to justice. The success of Burkina Faso's drone operations against insurgent leaders like Adama Umaru and Julaibib Al-Ansari isn't just a victory for their military, it's a blueprint for other African nations facing similar security challenges. Across Africa, insurgencies, terrorist groups, and armed militias continue to destabilize regions, stretching the resources of national militaries. Traditional methods of fighting these groups, foot soldiers and ground patrols, often struggle against guerrilla tactics and hidden networks of militants. The key to overcoming these challenges is adapting to modern warfare, and Burkina Faso has shown how it can be done. From the Lake Chad Basin to the Horn of Africa, insurgencies and terrorist networks operate in difficult terrains. Much like Burkina Faso, countries like Nigeria and Somalia are battling extremist groups like Boko Haram and Al-Shabaab. These groups are adept at hiding in plain sight, blending into local populations and moving swiftly across borders. This is where drones and other technologies come in. Drones offer what traditional military tactics cannot, 24-7 surveillance, intelligence gathering, and precise targeted strikes that minimize collateral damage. By using drones, militaries can track movements across vast, often inhospitable terrains, providing real-time data and eliminating the need to send troops into dangerous areas. For countries like Mali, which has been plagued by jihadist attacks for years, or Mozambique, dealing with insurgents in its northern regions, drone warfare could be the difference between endless conflict and eventual peace. Burkina Faso has demonstrated that with the right technology and training, even nations with limited resources can turn the tide. Another critical element of Burkina Faso's success is its investment in local talent. Rather than relying on foreign contractors or external military assistance, Burkina Faso has taken the bold step of training its own pilots and operators. This ensures not only self-sufficiency, but also long-term sustainability. This is a model that other African nations should follow. By investing in the education and training of their youth, they create a new generation of technologically savvy soldiers who understand the unique challenges facing their country. The newly graduated pilots of Burkina Faso are a testament to the effectiveness of this approach. Imagine if Nigeria or Kenya, for example, trained hundreds of drone pilots capable of monitoring their borders or preventing insurgent attacks before they happen. These are the kinds of investments that pay dividends in the long run. Historically, many African nations have relied heavily on foreign military aid, equipment, and expertise to deal with insurgencies. While this has provided some short-term benefits, it has also led to a cycle of dependency. What happens when external powers pull back their support? Burkina Faso is showing that African nations can and should build their own capabilities. By developing its drone program and training local operators, it's creating a self-reliant defense system that doesn't depend on the whims of international politics. African leaders can take a page from this playbook to ensure they are prepared to face threats on their own terms. Another lesson African leaders can take from Burkina Faso's strategy is the importance of regional cooperation. Insurgent groups like Boko Haram, ISIS affiliates, and Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, AQIM, don't respect national borders. They operate across countries, making it difficult for any one nation to defeat them alone. Burkina Faso's drone operations succeeded in part 
because they utilized intelligence gathered from regional partners. This highlights the need for African nations to enhance cross-border intelligence sharing and joint military operations. Drone technology can help facilitate this by providing real-time data that can be shared with neighboring countries. Imagine a future where countries like Chad, Niger, and Nigeria share drone intelligence to track insurgents crossing borders, creating a united front against common enemies. Regional alliances could become far more effective with the right technological infrastructure in place. Burkina Faso's success story should be a wake-up call for African leaders. The continent's security challenges require innovative solutions, and the use of drones coupled with locally trained operators is a powerful one. The lesson here is simple. African nations must embrace technology, invest in their people, and cooperate with one another if they are to overcome the insurgencies that threaten their future. The days of relying on foreign powers to solve Africa's problems are fading. It's time for African nations to lead the charge in securing their own peace. Burkina Faso has set an example of what's possible. Now, it's up to the rest of the continent to follow suit. The future of Africa's security lies not in the hands of others, but in the hands of Africans themselves. As we wrap up, it's clear that Burkina Faso's drone program has not only changed the game for their military, but has also laid out a roadmap for other African nations. By leveraging technology, investing in their youth, and working together regionally, African nations can finally break the cycle of violence and instability. If you found this video informative, hit that like button and subscribe for more geopolitical insights from around the world. Let us know in the comments. How do you think other African nations should implement technology in their fight against insurgency? Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and stay safe.